Now, we can also get to that from down here. Why would you want a browser? It's not absolutely vital, but it could be handy just to have it there or in one program. And there are other ways of doing this, but it's also handy because it's not just for looking at YouTube videos, but that is the example I'll use. We can go to YouTube, but it's not just to view it because we can always easily enough view YouTube in a browser. But let me just uh, explain once I can actually show you. Okay, let's just click on a random video here. Okay, there's a Game of Thrones. It's a teaser, so I'll try not to play too much and give it away. Let's pause. We could, of course, watch it in this program like we could in a browser but if you, what do you notice down the bottom we have video audio flash or downloads so if we look at the video that's what it's on at the moment and as you can see we have here it's a youtube video and it has one here that is an mp4 720p we can then select it if it had it which i guess it doesn't 1080p we could select 480p which is a roughly dvd quality and there's lesser resolutions here or there's a flv which is a flash video 240p there is a 3gp which i believe is normally used for streaming to mobile phones then there's a webm 360p which is a html5 video format so you want one of these probably or 1080p if it was there which isn't in this case select that and hit download and we can actually download it from within l media player so we don't have to use third-party programs at least not if you have the pro version of this player you don't have to go use another plugin or another program or buy another program and to download from youtube we can download internet videos using this browser built into the media player which is very handy and if we know we only want audio not video we can change the tab here to audio and as you can see we can then select do we want to download it in its mp3 version m4a or webm so you probably select this or that one then hit download so we can download just the audio of video we don't have to download the video and the audio we can just rip the audio which is quite handy and then there'd be flash if flash was available on the site you're browsing then you can look at downloads so a list of ones you downloaded i haven't downloaded any yet or we can view everything that is on the page including the xml and the html and the css here and download that so it's actually a very handy feature to have